give a warm Western New York welcome to the 57th governor of the great state of New York, Governor Kathy Hochul. Good afternoon. It is my distinct pleasure uh, to welcome you today here to the first day, the opening day of the Ralph C. Wilson Jr. Welcome Center at Niagara Falls State Park. <laughs> at State Parks, we are so excited to be able to show this beautiful building off. Uh, the team that designed and built the building will serve as a magnificent gateway not only to Niagara Falls State Park, but also to the city of Niagara Falls and all of Western New York for those nine million visitors that come and visit this park every year. The building itself, if you look around, is environmentally friendly and is much better designed to meet the needs of the traveling public than the one that sat here before. Projects like this do not happen overnight, however. They require many partners, contractors, architects, builders, our own staff, uh, but I want to just thank some of the people in the audience, some of our partners, our, our, our non-contracting partners. I want to, uh, I want to recognize Sen uh, Mayor Robert Restaino, the city of Niagara Falls, a great partner for us. Senator Robert Ort, who's been a great partner. Assemblyman Angela Morinello, who's one of the great boosters of things in this, in this area. And then all the other elected officials that are here today, including my colleagues from the cabinet. Uh, I also do want to send a, a personal acknowledgement to uh, the chair of our Niagara State Parks Commission, Cindy Litro, uh, and Stu Anger, who's also here, and we have other members of, the, uh, of, our, of our commission here. Uh, we don't have anyone here, but I do also want to acknowledge uh, this is the Ralph C. Wilson Jr. Uh, Welcome Center, uh, Ralph C. Wilson Jr. Welcome Center, and that is in recognition of the $8 million that was given by the Ralph Wilson Foundation to this project, and they've been very generous with us to New York State Parks, obviously across Western New York, but here in particular. But um, in all cases, the number one greatest partner we have here is our governor, Kathy Hochul. As we head into the 100th anniversary of the creation of our state park system, we are incredibly fortunate to have a governor who is a true champion and partner for all we do here at State Parks. She's a regular visitor. She knows our parks inside and out. Many of them she knows better than I do. She's asking me questions about things, points things out. Uh, and there's just no question that her steadfast support has put our State Parks on a whole different um, platform, a whole different plateau going forward. I'm so thrilled that you're able to join us today for this ribbon cutting. So with no further ado, it is my privilege to welcome the 57th governor of the state of New York, Kathy Hochul. What a great day this is. And I'm not just talking about the game. Uh, uh, yes, I'll take it. Buffalo Bills blue, I'll wear that every day. Uh, uh, on the way over, I just realize all the excitement that is being captured here today and to walk in. This is jaw-droppingly beautiful, especially for those who's been here before to the visitor center. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, the, one, the facility we had here before may have served people back 35 years ago when it was built, but for those who had the vision 100 years ago to say this is a park that should be showcased to the world, I would have recommended that they use glass so you can actually see what we're talking about here. This is the place you showcase to the rest of the world uh, what is out these doors. And so I'm really, really excited to be here. And I think about crossing the Grand Island Bridge. You get a little nervous when you're a kid. I have memories of crossing over. And you always think to yourself, OK, if something happened and the car went off into the water at this very point, at this highest point, would we end up going over the falls? I mean, these are the things. I thought about it just now, like reacting back when I was a kid. Okay, at what point can I make it over the falls? Uh, so, so growing up around here, it, it's just part of our identity. And so you start, you go over the falls, and you think about, you, know, you see, or you go over the bridge, you start seeing the mist in the distance, and the water looks kind of calm and looks peaceful and tranquil. And then 
the mist get a little closer, and then the water starts churning, and the rapids start, and you get right up near the edge, and it's just, it's so exhilarating, and there's nothing like it on the entire planet. And it's a sign that there's nothing on Earth at all like this, and we have something that is a treasure. And as someone who grew up here, I knew the historic significance. I knew you know, that there's a story of the indigenous peoples. In fact, uh, today showcased on the first floor of the governor's residence is a large painting of Niagara Falls uh, uh, with the indigenous peoples looking at it with the same awe that we look at it today, so I'm really proud of that. Uh, but it's also just you know, the landscapes that have been captured in so many photos and paintings and, the, of course, the waterfalls. So I just wanted to say as uh, we welcome the world here and roll out our version of a welcome mat. How about this for a welcome mat? This is for the rest of the world. That's our welcome mat. That, that's what this is. This is to say welcome to the rest of the world. And I, I want to, uh, first of all, acknowledge uh, uh, Kim Hill, who's the indigenous interpreter that we have uh, from, from Tuscarora. I want to also thank uh, Eric Kulisade for your incredible vision. You know, we've worked very closely together for a number of years here, and we always knew that this 100th anniversary was something we had to celebrate and to leave a legacy for the next 100 years, and I do believe this building does this. Uh, Hope Knight, uh, Empire State Development, uh, CEO and President, I want to thank her for her leadership here. Welcome, you're here so often, we're starting to feel like you're a local. Of course, no one's more local than my two commissioners, uh, DMV Commissioner Mark Schroeder and Tim Hogues, our Civil Service Commissioner. Let's give them a round of applause and welcome home. Uh, partners in Albany are always great to have. I want to thank uh, Senator Robert Ort and Angela Morinella from the Assembly for representing this area uh, with such passion as they do. And also, at the local level, we have uh, Mayor Restino, who you'll be hearing from momentarily, and I know he's enormously proud of the Cataract City and what we're showcasing here today. And, of course, to have uh, our chair of the Niagara Falls Parks Commission, uh, Cindy Litro, here is uh, something we're very happy to welcome you and the members of the Parks Commission as well. So let's talk about what we're looking at. This And, and John Percy, too. Thank you, John, as the, the president and CEO of Destiny. We've been to so many events together, and, of course, the aquarium's in the house, too. i got to start going through everybody here. Oh. How are my penguins doing? Okay. All right. Just, are they getting any taller? A little bit. Okay. They're really short. <laughs> Little kids think of penguins like this and like this, but that's all right. They're adorable. Oh, they'll grow up someday. Uh, as I said, I do think this is one of the most spectacular places in not just our state, but in, truly in the world. And uh, we talked about how important this is and how beautiful it is. And we're just so fortunate to have it right here. And when people come here, we want them to not just explore the May of the Mist. I was on the May of the Mist uh, uh, short, well, not this summer, but the previous summer on the electric May of the Mist. I mean, how about that? How extraordinary that is. It is, and I watched how they charged it. It's amazing. And also the Cave of the Winds, kind of get that excitement when you're heading down there. And am I going to make it or am I not going to make it? The little kids love that. And they, you know, the Top of the Falls restaurant is extraordinary. And, you know, the, the, just what Frederick Law Olmsted envisioned here, I mean, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. But we know it, but so do 9.44 million visitors, which is amazing. That's more than any other park in our state receives here. And last year, our state parks overall hit almost 80 million visitors. We are breaking records every day of the week because people know how, how incredible our parks are here in the state of New York. So we want to keep attracting people, let them have a memorable world-class experience and make sure that uh, they want to come back with their children and grandchildren for years to come. So in 19, I'm sorry, eight, in uh, 2021, that seems like a long time, but back to 1821, uh, uh, so when I first became governor, I announced a $46 million center to welcome everyone from around the world and improve the experience overall. And I knew we could do better. And uh, we teamed up with so many attractions. What we're doing here, we're going to have incredible interpretive exhibits that will be displayed. We have, let me just mention some of the things we're doing here. 28,000 square foot new ticketing and information desk, interpretive museum space, immersive experience, uh, incredible topics, a variety of topics, including natural, industrial, indigenous American hi people's history, concession spaces, restrooms, support services, and just incredible, but something that we all might really enjoy is the local food. I mean, this is not some national chain coming in here and saying we're going to take up your space. This is local. 
this is de camillo's pizza i mean we're talking next level pizza here we're talking and hopefully they can bring some cannolis over while they're at it. Can I, can I, can I do a special request for, let's sell, let's sell their cannolis, they're the best. Costanzo's Bakery, Salem's Hot Dogs, Lily had one yesterday, they're so good. Uh, Perry's Ice Cream, Oxford Pennant, and New Era Hats, Hats will also be part of the retail here. And also, you know, cutting the ribbon on something named after Ralph Listen. On a day after a game, we, we rode the Cowboys out of town. <laughs> ah, that was fun. <laughs> And I happen to be there um, in my box to show how magnanimous Crystal People Stokes are. And I, we let Carl Heastie in, who's the speaker. You familiar with the speaker? Do you know this about him? Dallas fan. Okay. No, no, truly. I walk in, and in the first few downs, he's cheering like crazy. And all of a sudden, his side got really quiet. <laughs> I've never seen him so quiet. I just want to reflect on that. <laughs> Uh, but he was a good sport, I think, uh, but uh, it was a great day for all of us. So to have the Ralph Wilson Center here, uh, Welcome Center, his name will live on in so many different places. And I know there's not a representative here today, but uh, they couldn't make it. But what Mary Wilson has done for this community also, it's just given us a chance to believe in ourselves again. It's not just a sports team and the legacy, but also just allowing us to have the extra resources, the extra $8 million to really just put a special exclamation point on everything we're doing here, the Children's Center, I, mean, I don't know if there's gonna be a single building in, in Western New York that doesn't have the name Ralph C. Wilson Jr. on it, and that's okay with me. Uh, I don't need it all to say New York State, let's put his name on everything. So, so it's, a, it's an incredible gateway, and I'm, and I'm so proud of everything we're doing here. So, so let's continue on, let's continue the journey of showcasing what we have, uh, developing more resources and opportunities for people to understand, you know, this is an important part of our history. The Underground Railroad, uh, right around the corner here, came through here. We're showcasing that. We're talking about uh, so many other attractions. But I also want to make sure that we're investing in current projects as well. Not always as big as this, but today I'm proud to announce $4 million capital grant for the Niagara Arts and Cultural Center. So that's a <laughs> recognition for them. Uh, you know, the center's auditorium, we're gonna help them restore the 1,000 square feet, or 1,000 seat theater to its original historic grandeur. And that's what you do. I mean, these were built at a time when people had such imagination, and such vision, they, they didn't hold anything back on making beautiful spaces like this facility has. And then it declines over time and it becomes too expensive to recapture the story and the grandeur. And that's exactly what we're doing here. We're gonna re you know, bring back a piece of history as well and also integrating modern technology and, and uh, having contemporary productions. So, so I'm excited about that, but also uh, we're committed to announcing the $2.25 million for Oakwood Cemetery as well, because that was built before the Civil War, and it's an important part of our heritage. And they're gonna be able to restore some of their buildings, and so people can uh, visit this and just reflect back on an earlier time and we'll fix up the chapel and make sure that these buildings stand for generations to come. So we got a, uh, Santa Claus came a little bit early. It wasn't just about this, but I thought we'd sprinkle around a couple more gifts to this area because uh, uh, there's so much, so much to offer here. And I hope that those of you who um, live here day in and day out never lose that sense of awe that I have when I come back to this area. It is unique, it is special, it is spectacular. So. Uh, never forget that, and the rest of New York State is incredibly proud that we are home to one of the greatest wonders on this planet, and it's going to continue to be because of investments like this and products like this, uh, something we're proud of for generations to come. So thank you, everybody. And with that, I also do want to recognize uh, the men and women of labor uh, who helped build this facility, and I want to thank Paul Brown for his work here and other, all the members of labor. Thank them for what they've done. So. Uh, let me bring up the mayor at this point to talk about how proud he must be to have this right in his hometown. So, Mayor Ristino. Thank you, Governor. Uh, first, let me say this is a spectacular building, um, and I know that all of the visitors and locals that come to the park uh, will certainly be in awe of the beautiful um, construction as well as the views that you can get from just about any place in here. So um, I want to thank and congratulate uh, the governor and the commissioner uh, on a great vision uh, and the ability to deliver it for, uh, for the state park and for our community. 
I also have to tell you that it is really a pleasure uh, that the governor um, is joining in uh, with her investments in the uh, purpose of the mission of this administration uh, to improve uh, the assets that we have within our city. Uh, the investments uh, in the NAC um, also sort of piggybacks on to some investment that our administration has made in that building. It is a cultural center. Um, I think those of you who have not been there um, should take the time uh, just to visit. It's an incredible place, uh, artists, and just, just a friendly place to be. So again, Governor, thank you so very much uh, for your consideration and for your, your wisdom. Uh, the theater, uh, once it is completed, um, uh, is going to be breathtaking. So thank you again for that. Um, Oakwood Cemetery. Oakwood Cemetery really tells the story of Niagara Falls in so many ways. Um, it is the place, uh, the final resting place for so many of the great families uh, that started uh, off Niagara Falls. They created uh, the industry, they created uh, the community, uh, and also some of our, you know, our crazy uh, daredevil friends are there too. So um, really, um, your investment in these two um, incredible community assets is really what we in our administration are looking to do, to bring as much excitement within the city as there is here um, in, our, in our state park. So again, let me just say thank you so very much for your continued commitment uh, to the city of Niagara Falls, uh, for your partnering with us um, in helping to develop these um, uh, community assets, and uh, for giving our community this fabulous uh, visitor center. Um, so again, thank you so very much. Please remain seated for the official ribbon cutting ceremony.